Hello. Welcome. Welcome. How is your day going? Oh, nice. How's your, yeah, how's Avian going, actually? Saw that you were making some progress on the parser or something like that? Nice. That's cool. Yeah, parsers are fun. I don't like how far to the right I need to look to look at chat. How do I get like just a chat pop out? Oh, your 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 struct dependency diagram. It's being of use. Nice. That's good. Like I want chat like popped out in its own window, and I can't figure out how to do it. Didn't shun you, just uh, a little skeptical of um, diagramming before programming. But yeah, you know, if it's if it's useful, then that's good. Press the cog, and there should be a pop out chat button. There's a scroll bar, but it doesn't scroll, so that's good. I see no such pop out chat button. Like there's nothing, there's nothing here. I have sh like, unless I'm blind. Oh, we're going, we're going in, we're nesting. Hey Zach, how's it going, man? Maybe I'll just, I'll, oh, this is a better idea, actually. I'll just do this, yeah. Under the My Preferences section? I don't even have, oh wait. No, there's, okay, there's pause chat, which I don't wanna do. But there's no pop out chat. I don't know, man. Uh, this is Chrome. Oh, 
Oh well. That is fine. We will do some video game making. Uh, is the audio fine? And am I dropping frames or anything? Anything I should be aware of? I don't know. Probably only nerds make video games, I think. Shotgun mic, like if you ain't looking more or less. Oh, really? That's annoying. Um, okay, I know there's like different uh, settings. Like, a, is cardioid the one that I want? Cardioid. All right, I'll just try to be better. <laughs> cool, I didn't make any changes, so that's great. Um, I'm going to grab a beverage. I will be right back. Got a Phillips Raspberry Wheat Ale. It's very good. It's a good summer drink, and it's like quite sunny today, so pretty stoked. Okay, so we're gonna make some levels here. Um, no beer? Oh man. Okay, so I have I have this game. <laughs> I did not disinfect the container. Um, probably should have, or at least like not. Maybe I should use a cup. I'm gonna use a cup. Yeah, I'll grab. Good call, Zach. Comically oversized uh, mug, which is great. So, ah, oh, you're dead for sure. For sure. Wonderful.
So I have this video game. You do math to solve puzzles. And uh, yeah, oh, it's like, it's quite red indeed. Yeah, this is a good one. If you can find, if you can find Phillips Raspberry Wheat Ale in Vancouver, ooh, get your hands on some of that. Top down, it's still top down. Was that not top down? It's like kind of top down. The letters need to be kind of like rotated up actually. I think we did that in the Game Jam version, but that's not being done right now. Um, I will get some... Is not... Uh, no, probably... Maybe like a hundred lines has been just like kind of copied over or uh, survived the transformation into uh, this new version. But like the whole entity system got reworked. Like none of this was, none of this was happening in the, in the game jam version. Um, nor like this little, little gizmo thing, which has been pretty dope. I need undo for the editor, which, yeah, that would be great. Uh, yeah. So um, I have the other. I have a build of the game jam version, so I'm just gonna run that and then remake the levels. Um, can't really say whether the levels in the game are good or not, because I don't really know what makes a good level in this game. Um, but having content to do things with will help. Yeah, one thing that we still have left to do is, like this version has the camera sort of centered on the level and then it just like eases a little bit to follow the player. Uh, this one is just like following the player directly. Uh, gotta do that. And yeah, like the the operators and uh, parameters are like kind of aimed upwards. Maybe I'll do that today as well. Um, yeah, that's what we're doing. So this um. This level adding menu I've had some problems with, uh, and my friend is the one who made this, so I might not be using it. I might just use the... Uh, text editor to uh, <laughs> spoilers. Yeah, I mean, if <laughs> uh, there will be puzzle solution spoilers in this stream. Uh, so this one, the answer is three, that's fine. Level four. Four. Three. I don't think these are being, oh, these are being hot loaded. Very nice. That's sweet. Okay. Okay, that's a bug already. I don't know how to repair that, but that's fine. Uh, take the ground. made a level. Look at that. All right. <laughs> Another. 
What are y'all getting up to this evening? That's sweet that that hot loads. That's great. I did mean to push something actually. Uh, okay, I will after this. I will. Yeah, I'll push after this one. Okay, this one. It was like three times five plus four. Yeah. Constant. Uh, I saw you were talking to Tetra in about uh, like looking up uh, symbols and scopes. How are you currently planning to do that? TV. Oh, that'd be great. But of course it doesn't work. Mm. Sort by name. Binary searching is a good idea. I think in my projects I'm just doing like a linear search through the scopes. Like for each scope look through the names, and then if you don't find it, go to the, the, the parent scope of that thing. But yeah, a, a binary search is a, probably a, a, a simple a simple optimization. That's a good, that's a good idea. Can't use a constant value before it's declared. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's, that's something that I haven't really thought about, is like how to handle I mean, like, like obviously, when you're writing code, you can't, you can't do like x equals four, and then like down here declare x. Um, but I haven't thought about this enough to have a good solution for how to do this. Is the code visible, by the way? Do I should I zoom in more, or is this is this okay? Okay, cool. <clears throat> right, yeah, like linear search up the scopes, but binary search each, yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, you said declaring the procedure underneath. Yeah, I, I do believe Jai does let you do that, but John was uh, unsure about how he feels about that. Three times five plus four. Wait, oh.
Why does it still say the answer is three? Oh, okay. Uh, that means that the level info answer answers answer doesn't hot load while the level is active. Odin lets you do what, Tetra? Oh, if it's if it's a constant, yeah, you can do that. And I think I think I agree with that. I think constants shouldn't be ordered. It kind of breaks the rule that a procedure body is an ordered thing, but eh. Divine the local. No, yeah, that, that's, that's what I mean. Is like um, f f equals g. Yeah, like this. This compiles, and that's. I I am in favor of this compiling personally. Exactly. Yeah, constants are like a different thing. Fair. Okay. There needs to be some kind of like outline of what makes a tile on the model for like the ground seems it would be a good idea all it does mean forward declarations but you could oh no yeah absolutely not Cell shading. Maybe this game would look good with cell shading. I don't know what the the visual style or even the theme of this game really is. Like you're doing math with like registers, so it should be some kind of computery thing, but I'm not I'm not certain what it should look like. I like this. <laughs> so this is like a valid solution. Five times three plus four but you trap yourself and can't get to the exit. I'm a fan of this. Yeah, circuit board, maybe, yeah. Yeah, that'd be cool. Hmm, hmm. It is hard to read the five. Um, I will, there will be like a, Oh gosh, it's hard to click that when it's flush with the thing. Uh, the operators and stuff are gonna be like tilted up. I, I might do that like this stream. Okay. Um. Yeah, circuit board, that's a good idea.
true? Yeah, it is. That's true. That's a lot of entities. Stage all. Uh, levels three to five. Disconnected and connected. Hmm. Is it is it good? <laughs> Is it okay? You know, I should maybe put this on the other side because like that's the side of the keyboard that I'm on and the chat is that way. So like, it doesn't make sense to, to uh, this is going to be no good if I do that. Uh, I'll fix the cable management after. Yeah, this is Sublime Merge. A okay get GUI. Oh no. Huh, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Do I have any? No. Okay. Um, oh, so the stream just started and then already made two levels that's great that's good news I'm gonna make the things tilt up towards the camera because that seems very useful um, how should I do it a corona stuff yeah <laughs> I uh, yes <laughs> definitely have not been shaving Yeah, it's been brutal. Like, the first few days, I was, like, for the morning meeting, working from home, I was, like, uh, showered, like, teeth brushed, like, everything ready to go, all dressed, uh, got, like, a coffee, and then, like, would get into the meeting, but, like, the last few days, it's been, like, wake up five minutes before... Like just fall out of bed, grab a coffee in a robe, do the meeting. It's uh, finding it hard to stay motivated to not fall into de degeneracy. <sighs> yeah, definitely. Definitely so. Um... <clears throat> So I wasn't going to do much programming this stream, because that's harder for people to follow along, and making levels is pretty easy. Um, but I do want these things to aim towards the, the camera. And there are there's two ways I could do it. I could do it at the start of the level, when the entities are spawned. Or I could do it at edit time, and then just have the rotation saved. Um, but that sounds just kind of worse. So. I'm going to do the other one. Yeah, definitely at the start of the level is a better idea. Um, yeah. Or init, maybe? No, no, no. Not ground. Another or 
orient towards camera. grow a beard I can grow a beard like you could probably see it even on stream like it's very patchy underneath though I haven't I haven't tried to grow it out uh, in a long time so I don't know maybe that would maybe that would uh, cover it or uh, maybe that would work I don't know orient towards camera I do have to yeah it's true oh geez like today was the first time I left the house in like four days and it's this is brutal. What have you been, what have y'all been doing for your, uh, don't plus? Don't what? Oh, don't grow a beard? <laughs> oh, you know what? You should, uh, Why? This UI is terrible. Twitch, what are you doing? What? This is like actually not even usable. Awkward. Yeah. Yeah. You don't have to go through the, the weird, like, yeah, true. Patch the inevitable shaggy mane of hair after you. I'm concerned about the haircut. Uh, I was, um, I was thinking about that, like, while getting the stream ready. Notice my hair is getting a little bit long. Uh, and yeah, I, I don't know what to do about that. I might, like, organize, like, a, just with my barber, like, to go to her place and have her cut my hair or something. I don't want to go to a super noisy barbershop. <laughs> Six months. <laughs> Take it back. Yeah, it's, it'll be a while, man. It'll be a while. I think at least at least a few months, probably. We'll be working from home. Oh, no. Just shave your head. Okay, what's a good way to do this one? Uh, they shouldn't like always look at the camera, right? Like if the camera moves, they shouldn't. That would be a little goofy. Um, yeah, exactly, in six months, yeah, you'll be fine. Yeah, maybe just a 45 degree angle. Uh, that's true. Okay, and the way you do that is with uh, axis angle, I guess, would be the way to do it. What quaternion things do we have? Kind of sway with like an angle. I want to make you a mod, but I don't know how to do that, Jake. This UI is not helping me. Mod user, look at that. Dope. Yeah, probably could make them move like a little bit, uh, but the angle. Yeah. Yeah, bob up and down's a good one. Well, it would be like a sign but like very low amplitude. <laughs> uh 
and then have to bob at like different rates for sure otherwise that would be weird yeah well yeah starting yeah yeah <laughs> you know you know either starting offset or like a random uh speed but yeah starting offset would be a better better way you don't have to like add a variable you don't have to add the variable dude what am i trying to type into my computer here so i want a rotation of 45 degrees in a certain direction. Uh, I think angle axis is the one that I want, or axis angle. Yeah, I know the variable is sacred. I don't think anybody could claim to have enough power to, to even consider invoking the variable. That would be just madness. Bobble on the, oh yeah, on the x-axis. So you could have like a, yeah, yep, that'd be good. Like both, kind of just kind of moving. So we want x and then Uh, oh, I don't know, radians, man, or what is zero? We will try this. zero is zero, but like what direction is zero? I do not have game code hot load. Uh, might do that eventually. That's part of like a bigger refactor that I'm not sure if I want to do yet, where, um, cause like right now I go into the game directory And then do just it's it's just an Odin run dot, um, but maybe in the future I would want like a workbench thing where like the engine starts up and then that calls the game code. Uh, but right now like the game code, the game code is the main entry point, and then it just like calls into the engine and makes a window with like update render and. I did game, ho game code hot load once and it was kind of a pain because it was before it was before the package system. So you had to like import files, but they couldn't be cyclic. So you just had to have huge files. <sighs> yeah, at some point. Uh, Foxify. I watched a lot of Jonathan Blow streams. <laughs> that was like my sort of entry into low level stuff. And then making en making engine stuff was just asking uh, probably too many questions on Handmade Network Discord. It's like a, yeah, that was huge. And well, um, yeah, it was a lot of watching John to see kind of how engines are sort of structured with like entity stuff and uh, just how to structure things in general. And then uh, Learn OpenGL was how I did, like, how I learned most, or a good chunk of rendering stuff. This and asking questions in the Handmade Network. Uh, yeah, it was very good. You have a button in the engine that calls the compiler and reloads the game logic. What? <laughs> That would be insanity. <laughs> yeah, it would be a stub one. Oh, a package manager, yeah. 
Yeah, well, you were working on one, and Mikkel was working on one, and... Command line git. Oh, jeez. No, yeah, sorry. I'll mute my Discord. <laughs> sorry. It says it's on streamer mode. You think that it would mute itself in streamer mode, but I guess not. Why is there two Discords? Windows. Like. <laughs> you, yeah, yeah, true. You would think. Uh, no, sorry. I was just uh, chilling. frozen or are we good cool okay so zero is nothing that makes sense that makes a whole lot of sense. What direction is 30? Yeah, pretty much. Everything is not working most of the time. Well, that's not true. But yeah, I got disconnected from Discord like a whole bunch um, last night when we were playing The Witness. Negative 30 should do it. Hmm. Beautiful. We are programmers. But now they look kind of like too high. Like it's like there, there's a tile behind that too, but you can't tell. <clears throat> hey, Sarah. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. You know what? A tree? What tree? There is no tree. Uh, the green thing is the player character. <laughs> uh, no, don't, don't do that. No, don't do that.
Wait. Yeah. That's decently better. Maybe the camera is like too far away. Yeah, it. I guess. I guess that's true. Things haven't totally shut down, which is uh, that's a good thing. Sorry, just lighting a candle. I don't know, like I don't think, well, actually, probably impossible to tell. You want cell shading? I can do some, I mean, just as like a meme, we can, uh, no, this would be in the, um, the gamma shader. This is going to be like the worst shell cell shading you've ever seen. Uh, I don't even know what a reasonable value is here. If <laughs> I don't even <laughs> this is so stupid. Is it length in, if statements are a code smell? I mean, you joke. You joke. Look at this. Google anti-if. Galar. Is that Jake? Oh, you were referencing this. Yeah, this is. Or is like the scary, huh? Yeah, pretty scary, huh? <laughs> this is like, like I, I, I can't tell if this is, um, if this is a joke or not. Avoid dangerous ifs and use objects to build code that is flexible. Build a code. Build a code that is flexible. No good. No good, man. All right. We're doing some cell shading. Well, it, it lands even better almost because like it, there's a whole, people are really weird about branching in shaders, but like you just have to do it sometimes. So it's not even the length that you want, it's the dot. You want the dot of these things. If they point in, no. I don't know, this is gonna be horrendous either way. I wasn't even compile. Turn. <laughs> Stupid. Oh no. Incredible. Oh, the background would get super messed up because it's just like a gradient of colors. Uh. <laughs> no, that's worse. Uh, we want a higher number. 
We have shader hot loading, but not ones that are built into the engine because they're loaded in a different way. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Uh... Sorry. I, I should get a boom for this mic or something. Yeah, there you go. Here's your cell shading. <laughs> Amazing. It's gorgeous. <sighs> the text is great. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. And then the background changing changes what the text looks like. Oh, it's perfect. Why is it moving? The Because the, the background is changing color over time. So so this if would get tripped up sometimes and not others for the same the same pixel. Yeah, yeah, this is this is in the gamma correction pass. So this is like after you've drawn everything to a frame buffer, you draw that frame buffer to another frame buffer in like a gamma correction and uh, do tone mapping and stuff. Well, not in stuff. That's that's literally all you do. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to delete this. We are not doing that. Yeah, this is good. I mean, yeah, so you said the, the edges are kind of hard on here, but once we have like anti-aliasing, it'll be better. Um, in a bit. Deposition plus entity dot model offset. So I just added a model offset thing so that you can draw things at a slightly different position than where the, the entity actually thinks that it is. So that in our well sorry, I'll yeah I should have I should have explained why I was doing that. Um, but so they look, the, the parameters and operators look kind of too high up in my opinion. Um, so I'm, I added a thing to make, to just lower them without actually changing the entity's position. So like if I even just go in here, there should be like a, yeah, like I can move this and that'll be better. Hopefully better. Something like 0.5 should do. Yeah, cool. Uh, start parameter. Brand uh, dot uh, model offset equals speed. Operator. That's better. That's a little better. Yeah. of rat holing here but that's fine uh, we'll get back to making levels soon do not worry yeah this looks better You 
don't like how the movement trail goes through the letters. It does kind of clip in a pretty bad way, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. Also, wait, where's the shadows on it? Oh, there it is. Yeah, okay. We're good. We're good. Force the numbers and operators to render last. No. Uh, I mean, with the current setup, it would be a whole bunch of work to do that. Um, but that's probably something that we want to be able to do at some point. Because, yeah, it's just doing, like, normal depth test. Hmm. Is the back of the one clipping into the ground? No, it's not. Okay. Everything looks huge. Things need to be smaller. Uh, I'll, okay, I'm not gonna toward the camera. No, it's it's fine. It's fine. It's all right. I'm going to grab another beverage. Be right back. Pero, welcome. Welcome. Yeah, she's a good cat. That's Diana. Hey, kitty. How's it going, Pero? What are you getting up to? Mm. Yeah, it's like a ri very rich red. It's a good one. This is I showed at the beginning, but raspberry wheat ale. Very good. Very, very good. <clears throat> Cheers, Sarah. Cheers. Um, I will. Hmm. I will rat hole a little bit more. Locked up in curfew? Are you? Are y'all like? 
Is that like a thing? Like you can't you can't leave the house? Clipping? What what clipping? Oh, yeah, I guess I guess that probably would have So the problem with doing the orientation at the start of the level is that if I tab into the editor, they aren't in the position that the, they would be in in the level, see? Um, so I can't look at these from the angle that I want to. But yeah, with them a little bit smaller and orient yeah, they're they're good. They're good, I think. Total quarantine. Wow. Like, how do you get, like, groceries and stuff? It is not clipping. There's no way. If it wasn't... No, there's no way. I do not believe you. Uh, these... Yeah, this is gonna be... The stream of small fixes. Because these, like, the... St this is dumb. Like the start point and the end point are just like huge, and there's no reason for that. So I'm gonna fix that as well. Oh, the trail still clips. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not fixing that. That's not happening uh, <laughs> right now. Uh, well, I, like I don't even know what a solution would look like for that. Probably the wire. Should the wire go along the ground? Then we might not get the the shadows, which I quite enjoy. I don't know. You can go buy food. Okay, that's good. That's good. It's good. Yeah, it's crazy times. Like, I... Yeah. I've never seen, like, the whole world know about and care about the same thing before. Like, that's, that's crazy. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, I could offset them a bit, but if the, if there's a better solution down the line, then there's no reason to do, do that solution right now. So I don't know. I don't know what the I don't know what the best solution is. So that's like low priority. And like moving them towards the camera is something that's uh, very simple to do. So uh, it's not a I'm too concerned. Yeah, I saw that like a couple the New York thing a couple days after the the guy said that there's no way we're shutting down New York. <laughs> that's funny. Well, funny, whatever. It's tragic, but, you know. Uh, we want the start point to have a start. Oh, wait. Start proc. What I'm doing now is the fixing how big the start and end points are, because uh, that just looks terrible. Uh, and that involves making a procedure called start start point, which amuses me. Um, like I think we just want like it. Not taking up a whole tile, definitely. Maybe just like a thin thing on the ground, kind of like what like a, a pressure plate in Minecraft looks like. Um, so that would be like uh, scale is like three, one, and then like maybe point one, one. 
position equals no not position the model offset that we just made yeah we'll use that because uh, right now it would draw in the center of the tile so we want half a tile down plus half of 0.1 i think right uh, zero negative 0.5 plus half of 0.1, so 0.55. And my sister's model three nine. <laughs> oh geez, that's scary. Yeah, that, that would be no good. Roadblocks. And they're invisible. Why would they be invisible? If we take this. I set scale to zero, didn't I? No. Hmm. Okay, indeed that does make it invisible. Oh, I went the wrong way. This should be four five, not five five. Nice, that looks pretty reasonable. It should like, like the wire should, if the wire is gonna be above the ground, it should like come out of the start point, probably. Um, there's some mechanics that we want to make where the the wire sort of doesn't just follow this like linear thing. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll we'll see how that goes. The wire is not my jurisdiction. Uh, the the mod in the chat, Doctor Professor, he's the one I'm working on this game with, and that's his sort of uh, one of his things. Yeah, definitely not lined up Lego bricks. It's it's yeah. I think I think we will probably go with like a, a circuit board sort of aesthetic. Hey, there he is. Yeah, look at that. Um, because like you're you're doing math with registers, so yeah, some kind of like circuit board aesthetic, or something like that would be what we do. I don't know if like I don't know if eventually we want to have like multiple guys in a level and they would like have their own wire. And they go through things, because like the wire, the wire could serve as like a collision thing, and then another guy could like go over it, which would be interesting, maybe potentially interesting. Pencil and paper levels, yeah. Oh yeah, big brain. Yeah, yeah. Maybe different aesthetics per per thing per world. Yeah, not sure. It's just, yeah. Lots to decide. <clears throat> Brain level. Yeah, it could be like a neuron. It could be a neuron doing some stuff. <laughs> yeah. Cool. This is pretty good. Yeah, so these look more grounded in their tile now, which is good. They're a little bit smaller, a little bit closer to the ground, angling up towards the camera. That's good. Wait, why did that? Oh, yes, because there's a bug. That's fine. Yes. Hmm. 
I think all of these could have been in in it actually. Whatever, that's fine. Floating blocks in the background that bob up and down slowly. Oh yeah, like a just kind of like chilling out there, doing a little, doing a little thing. Yeah, that might be good. I mean, like, I don't even know what the background should be, though. Like, the, like right now it's just this color thing because we couldn't decide what to do with it. But, like, I don't know if it should be, like, the, the some kind of motherboard thing or some, yeah, I don't know. We definitely need more Odin on Twitch. More people need to program in this programming language. The world is vertical walls. What do you mean? The world is vertical walls. That, yes, <laughs> correct. Past year. <laughs> I indeed have no idea what you're talking about. Shiny vertical, oh, um, is it that, no, there was a YouTube video I watched a while ago by Matthew Matosis, who like, you like climb up this stuff, but then also it's like a Japanese like dating simulator on like the other side of the game. Hey Sam, how's it going? Yeah, no, I mean, I'll, here, I'll see if I can, I'll see if I can fish it up. Catherine? The, the following review for Cat. Whoa. Is it Catherine? Yeah. Okay. Well, this is the game I was thinking of. I don't know if if you were at all talking about this. Uh, what do you use to debug? Yeah, Loglin. Pretty much just Loglin. You can type in a bunch of stuff. There's also um, log F now. So you can like this is percent uh, thing percent and then give it whatever and it'll like fill in the percents but like if you like if you're talking about like actually debugging um that would be just odin build dot dash debug and then dev env that i'm not going to hit it because then it'll open visual studio and that'll take like four years uh, but then this will just open visual studio and then you can step through and look at your look at your variables and and all the good debugging stuff. Rune is a good one, and Rune is like a that's like a code Rune. Like that's not just what Odin calls it. Like that's like the word for it. I think. Code point, yeah, actually, code point is the, that's that's true, actually, yeah. But that's like a lot to type. <laughs> Long keywords, yeah. Um, Jeez, <laughs> I couldn't imagine typing that all the time, that sucks. Yeah, like I don't even actually know what it means. So this is, I mean, maybe uh, shameful, but I don't know what it means to like account for Unicode or like be UTF correct, UTF-8 correct. 
Like when I'm when I have like in my lexer, it just like iterates through the bytes of a string, and I don't I, that I don't think that's correct, but that's what I do. Yeah, but like I couldn't put like emoji or uh, non-Latin characters. I don't know what my lexer would do with non-Latin characters. What do you mean I could? Hmm. Because like what what my lexer does is well I could open. It. I actually kind of want to rewrite this because I have different ideas about what a lexer does now, but um, it, I have like a scan identifier. I haven't looked at this code in a long time. Yeah, okay, so yeah, I'm just indexing the text, and then if it's these things, I scan along. Well, this isn't even just for a compiler. Like, I use this lexer for a bunch of stuff. Just whenever I need to, like, scan, like, parse a text format or something. Oh, for C in stir does that anyways. But does indexing into a string do that? I would imagine not. Well, actually, I have, I don't know what this would do even. Does this just do the byte? So, like, if I give it a... Yeah, if I give it a... Does this index the byte or the rune? Just the bytes. Okay. So, so this would... If I fed Unicode stuff into here or some kind of non <laughs> ASCII encoding, it would just probably have a bad time. Yeah. Oh well, that's fine. Well, it would, it would probably not trip up any of these. And then that would just be the end of the identifier. And then yeah, it would probably, uh, yeah. Probably a few pieces of, yeah, probably. Probably something like that. I think it would be a mess. Yeah. My strings. That's, yeah. So this, yeah, this I just check as long as it's not a quote that's not escaped. So this would probably work. Maybe. I don't know if this is properly handling even escape things. Ah, I wrote this so long ago. What do I do in the new thing? Scan string. Okay, this looks reasonable. Maybe. Oh, but then there's a different... Unescape string. Ah, wonderful. Yes, this is what I do. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> these are great, also. Like, I, I make heavy use of these, like, unimplemented, unhandled case. Maybe unhandled case is mine, but unreachable, unimplemented. These are good. It's not even that you have things for it. Like these are in core Odin. You have these. Potential bug bringer to be. De <laughs> oh no. <laughs> okay, well, that's definitely a bug bringer now then, for sure. Uh, oh, escaping, unescaping. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's a good one. I think I have it in the compiler that I'm writing at work on my lunch breaks. I have a proper thing here. I would show that, but I'd probably not allowed. I 
I've been like after seeing the um the uh the Jeff Roberts uh sprint F code, I've been like kind of embracing the long line with multiple things. Cause like for this in particular, I like you don't you don't care to understand each of the things really. Like for these things, especially since they're in a block, you can like, if you understand one, you understand the rest of them. So all you really need is the name and what the cases are here. And like, I think like if this was split up into multiple lines, it would be much less clear that that's what you need to care about. So I'm, I'm, I'm liking this stuff. But I mean, I don't know, you show this to a, uh, a Java teacher in a university and you'll, I don't know, something about code smells or something probably. What are we doing? We are Oh, I actually needed that window. They do not stink. They that's it's like very No, cuz no, I mean like I will even I will even illustrate what I mean. It is Yeah. Yeah, Jake, you're pretty reasonable. <laughs> but foxify like, okay, look at this, right? The information that you can glean from this is that they have a bunch of things in common and a, a couple things that differ. Um, but if we did this, it is now much less clear. You can tell that they are similar but you can't really tell why as much. So, no, this is good. In very, in like in, in certain cases, I will do this. But like most of the time, like most of my procedures are written normally. Like these are kind of similar, but they're a little bit too long to do the one line thing. So I don't know. These are quite similar, actually. Thank you, Sarah. Yeah, I think so. Look, this this makes even like if if you uh, maybe this is too much, but no, maybe not. Maybe that's good. Aligning those, maybe that helps. More levels, I think. We'll make more more levels. Also, somebody said in the chat, a level is a level, and I don't think that that's true. I think you can make bad levels, for sure. Like, if I... Oh, a good level is a good level. I mean, that's true, but what makes a good level? That's like... Why do I keep closing it? the editor there we go uh, stomp no Don't. <laughs> yeah it's I mean it's a tile based puzzle game for sure yeah um, instead of pushing around blocks you do math though 
So you have, uh, uh, this is like your register, and then this is the answer for the puzzle. So one plus one is two. You go enter, and then you need two here, so five minus three. Yeah, there's no there's no pushing blocks around, which I mean, maybe, maybe there will be, I don't know. Not sure. Unclear. There is currently no Sokoban elements. Um, did we? Yeah, did this one, yeah. Push around logic gates. Maybe that could be the other character. So like you have the one character that has the line and then another character that can push stuff around. Whoa. <laughs> so this is wrong. Oh, I'm in the editor. That's fine. That's fine. That's allowed in the editor. No, it's all good. We're good. Divide. So divide is a weird thing because, so like, uh, we need two, so eight divided by four. But we have this level, and I'm not sure what to do about this one, is when you're dividing integers. So the answer is three, and seven divided by two is not really three, but since a, a register right now can only hold an integer, it is. Um, if they can't, they can't cross each other's lines. I think, yeah, if we have another character, it they definitely couldn't cross lines. Probably. Uh, we have an idea for a mechanic that would allow crossing of lines, but it's like a different kind of thing. Yeah, I know we're teaching integer division, but like, I feel like we should... <laughs> I feel like the players of video games are just gonna find it weird. But I don't know if it's av if it's avoidable, like if there's some big level with a divide in it, it's inevitable that they, <laughs> they must. Yeah, I mean, maybe. Yeah, it's a weird thing. I could just not have divide at all in the game, but that's also weird. Ramp that makes you jump over until the next ramp it touches. What, you just like kind of float? I mean, like we, d we definitely can have like a, like I could make this level impossible by adding some extra ground and then like you can't go. And then there could be like a ramp that lets you get up there. Evil Knievel, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ever take it off any sweet jumps? Well, the line, the line would probably have collision, so like you could like walk on top of the other line. That would be kind of neat. That would be neat. <laughs> okay. We are making levels. I think this is the last one we made. Yeah. So, you don't know about that? What don't you know about that? Why, why don't you know about that? It could be pretty cool. You could make some weird stuff where like, you have to get the bottom guy to do a certain path strictly to get the other one where he needs to be and then maybe doing that path could stop you from doing the puzzle. So you need to figure out the right weird path to do. That would be cool. No, that would be, that would be cool. Yeah. Nice. I'm glad you found the bug. That is very good. Yeah, oh yeah. Oh, did you mean to write left paren? I bet you meant to write left paren. Oh, yep. Also a bug. Yo, I just have weird... 
duck noises. Maybe it's your TV that doesn't have Twitch on it. What the duck indeed. I will be right back. I have reached the limitations of the human bladder. Dancing down the street. No, he's having a good time. I have a good time in, in these trying times. Okay. What's next? Divide, yes. Maybe these should have names. We'll do that at some point. Oh, the hot load. That's sweet. Big fan. Uh, what is it? Eight divided by two, four? Eight divided by four. So two. Something that when you load a level for the first time, it like has multiple of everything in the level. I'm not sure why. Uh, that's fine. This 
is three by five. <laughs> going to allow exponents in modulo. Um, do we actually? Okay, we got we got plus, minus, multiply, divide, shift left, shift right. Uh, not which negates it, I think, and that's all. That's all we have. I thought I think we have models. We have a model for not. Um, but it's not hook or not not but uh, mod yeah we have a model for it but there's no we don't we don't have dude I don't even know the difference between modulo and remainder like whenever I need no I just use I mean like Odin has um, mod mod which is like if I well if if I'm potentially dealing with a negative value I use mod mod and that's all I know about what to do. Absolutely not. No, these, yeah. There's no difference between mod and remainder for positive numbers. Okay, that makes sense. Everyone but rigorous. Yeah. Dude, that guy... That guy knows his stuff, for sure. Did I just do the same level twice? I don't even know what a D normal is. What is that? Whenever its exponent is the least value possible. <laughs> no, there's no way. There's no way. Stack overflow. Hmm. Yeah, I'll have to actually learn that a different time. Um,
Yeah, like there's multiple start points in this level when I load this for the first time. So that if I hit load again, then it works. Yeah, I don't know what's going on there. Uh, this is the same as the last level. with seven and two and divide end point start point. Nice. You have no idea which is which. I I know that in Odin well, I explain I said what I'm yeah. I use mod mod if there's negative numbers involved because normal mod doesn't do NPP type. What is that? Hmm. Non pointer. I don't know. I don't know what that is. Non parapoly. Gotcha. I mean, I don't even know if your type system should. Oh, maybe. Yeah, I haven't done parapoly stuff, so I don't know. And is, is mod mod remained or is mod... I don't know. How does... I don't know how it works for negative numbers. Like, I... Do I not have this anywhere? Oh. Oh yeah. Right. So actually, yeah, we, ha we have that in this game. Um, with shift right, you use a mod mod because you're moving all of the registers and you could move one like the one in your zeroth register you could move to negative one and that needs to wrap to like whatever the the max number of registers is for that level now that's good no, water hmm. those ones probably shouldn't have bits on the side So stomp is like kind of a different idea. So that'll come after these. Uh, I don't know. No, we'll leave it. There'll probably be like more levels in here that use stomping. Minus one. Wait, okay. So that's the, I see. 
I don't see why it prints two. Wait, a mod mod. Huh. Yeah, because I mean, negative 10 divided by 3 would yield a remainder of negative 1. Right? I think that's true. Um, like there's only a difference for negative numbers. So if 10 mod mod three, negative 10 mod mod three gives two, then that's, oh, okay. So like if you had an array of length three and then did negative 10, mod mod the length of that array it would give you two because yeah it's a good question because it would be So zero mod mod three should give you zero. Negative one mod mod three would give you two, two, right? Cause it like wraps, you're like, you're indexing from the end. If you do negative one mod mod three, I like, I don't know. I'm not sure. Not entirely sure. Oh, we got so many more levels. Oh, we haven't even started making levels with different, with multiple registers yet. Oh, geez, what is that? Yikes. Does it not advance the, the thing in the text rendering? Amazing. Oh, I got two Twitch achievements. Amazing. Very nice. Stream for four hours. Look at that. That's great. Adverse remainder. I will bookmark this to read at some point. Seems pretty reasonable. I exited the chat. Cool. Uh, more levels. Let's make more levels. This one was called cheese in the other version. Sorry, excuse me. The answer is four. All right? Yeah, because you just you do that. Yeah. Hmm. 
This editor is working out really well. I'm, I'm quite happy with how this is going. Uh, spawn two plus four end. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Because like right now the entity like this this entity stuff is not even in Workbench. This is in this game. Uh, and I don't know if I want to abstract it out or if that's just not actually a valuable thing to do. Because like the whole entity system, like including the editor, is 859 lines, which is not a lot, really. Um, but if I move that into Workbench, then a full GUI makes a little bit more sense. I'm not sure. I don't know how huge I want Workbench to be. I mean, Workbench has some GUI stuff, like I can visualize Bloom and the shadow maps, but it's not like a, a full editor. Oh, that was kind of goofy. It's got some stuff, but it's not it's not a lot going on. <clears throat> so I'm, I, like I'm not sure if I want it to be a game engine or just like a library for doing graphics stuff with some other stuff that like with some other libraries that help with game things. I'm not sure. Not entirely certain. Basically, yeah. Like it has a bunch of sub libraries. Like there's, like these files are like kind of like base stuff for a workbench. And then like each of these are just like a, another library that it can use to do stuff and you can import to do stuff. So like if you want a Lexer, you can import this in your own code and then do things or collision and I don't know, like a profiler. Yeah, I don't know. The, the architecture is uh, still well up in the air. Okay, so now we're starting to get into levels with multiple registers, which is cool. So for this one, uh, the answer is two and four. It's not 24, it's two and four. So you get the plus one and then switch to the second register and then do eight divided by two. Yeah. So we'll make a thing. Full registers. What was it? Two and four. one 
plus one, eight divided by two, yeah. Hey, that's broken for sure. Hmm. Oh, just in the editor. This shouldn't draw in the editor also. Twenty registers. Yeah, I mean, like, like at that point, you're dipping into just like almost artificial difficulty territory. divide level I want I think I want them to be on opposite sides here so then the the divide level has 8 divided by 4 in this direction and then this one has 7 divided by 2 in that direction uh, no reason just to I don't know sort of test it I can start at a specific level like the this level editing window I can load whatever whichever one I want and then pop in there. Yeah, no no real reason. I need more water. I will be right back. Why is polyed the way it is? Hmm. 
Passing the type to, I, I see, okay, yeah. I mean, like I almost, I mean maybe this is just what I would do, but I feel like you might be worrying about parapoly too early. Like getting something to sort of C level where you can like actually write something in it is like, like that should be done first before adding like crazy advanced features. Cause then those crazy, if you don't do that, then those crazy advanced features might be built on sort of shaky foundation. Um, yeah, uh, no, so, uh, this is the other version of the game. This is the one with the, the broken clipping. Um, this level. I don't know what to call this one. What's it called here? Register Conga. Sure. won't add too much. Uh, you underestimate how complicated doing uh, parametric polymorphism is. <laughs> I mean, the struct existing is, yeah, definitely not a problem, but parametric polymorphism is a big, big thing. Mm. We have two versions because this one was made at a game jam that I went to uh, like a month and a half ago, two months ago, with a buddy of mine. Uh, and now I'm just kind of rebuilding it a little bit with like a proper, uh, I don't know, just not game jam level code. You got to do a lot of stuff to get parapoly to work. Um, but yeah, I mean, if you don't think it'll be that, that bad, then uh, best of luck to you. Okay, so this is where things start to get interesting. <laughs> where you can read from registers. So this level, the answer is seven and four, um, which if you just look at these, these ones is impossible. But if you put four in R2, and then three in R1, and then add R2 to R1, which is what this does, it reads from R2, and you can get seven. Mm. Now this is fun. This one called read register. Read register, level 11. Yeah, I kind of like the this like sort of tile thing that like goes down like that. I'm I I, I am a fan. 
Uh, but this is this is super temporary. Like this is not at all representative of what it'll look like. What is it seven four? And like the first level that where you read from registers should be a little bit simpler than this one currently is, probably. But this is fine for now. These will all get like redone and reordered and shuffled and and whatever. So that's fine. Uh, so plus and then a R1. No. R2. Oh, I just took a screenshot. No, that, that takes screenshots? Control Shift 2 is taking screenshots. Share X. No, this is not what I desire. I don't want any of these, actually. Well, maybe I just don't want to be running ShareX right now. Dan200, I have no idea who that is. That's a lot of Dan's, though there are probably, there's probably been more than 200 Dan's. Ah, I see. Hmm. Neat. <clears throat> okay. R2 and four, three plus. Nice. Similar to the ones in CC. I don't know what CC is. Uh, the register cap, they're currently. There is one, it looks like it's 10, but that'll, I mean, I can make this like a bajillion if I want. That's, it's undecided, but probably won't make levels with more than 10. I'd be surprised if, if that's something we did. Oh, computer craft, sorry, yeah, fair. Yeah, no, 10 is like a whole, that's way too many already. <laughs> like that's, yeah. So, I mean, I don't know. Maybe, like, end game levels would be complicated. I don't know. Not sure. Again, like, I don't even know what makes a good level in this game. So, yeah. It's entirely uncertain. Yeah, challenge levels are, like... I mean, maybe there will be, like, a built-in level editor where people can make their own maps. I don't know. Not sure. Not sure. Um, right, shift. <clears throat> shift is fun. randomly makes different challenge levels. Um, that would be pretty, pretty 
easy-ish to do. Yeah, like a sep it would definitely be separate. Like that wouldn't be. I mean, like the the witness has that. Like the puzzles in the. Um, oh, maybe that's spoilery. But there's a certain section where the puzzles are randomly generated. Um, and that would be pretty easy in this game because you could. You could have an algorithm that just has the guy walk around and then optionally like place a tile where he is, and then after doing that a certain amount, wherever you end up is just the answer. Or that's the end. Yeah, there's a certain section, there's some section of the witness. Uh, but yeah, you can't guarantee good puzzle design from doing that. I mean, you could like, you could limit it and like kind of make a shape of a puzzle where like, like you say, okay, randomly generate me a puzzle that has only these subset of operators. Yeah. Brownie in motion with math pooping. Pretty much. Yep. Yeah. Wherever you just, yeah, just spawn a bunch of random stuff and then wherever you end up is, that's the answer. <laughs> yeah. Um, shift easy. This one's actually kind of fun. I like this puzzle. This is a good one. Yeah, like there's there's things you can do to make and like it being a separate mode is like like yeah the player is opting into potentially lower quality puzzles but more content Tetra, interesting. Yeah, I guess so. I feel like I've probably written a dumb for loop that iterates and then adds each one, but I forgot that, yeah, append. Yeah, append takes a, a variable number of things. That's right. All right, what else? Not, yeah, that's right. This one is called negate. Three by five, negative four. I think this is the first level with a negative answer.
slices and slices, so no overhead. That's yeah, I mean, yeah, like when you do the, the spread and then slice, I don't know what that would even, what instructions that would really boil down to. Dynamic array to a slice. Yeah, you just slice it. What does that do to the leftover buffer? What do you mean the leftover buffer? Yeah, it, it just uses the same pointer with a different, like, value. That's misleading, what I just said, but that's like a, a dynamic. <clears throat> Like a dynamic array in Odin is just this, and a slice is just this. It's a pointer and a length, pointer and a length with a capacity. So like when you make, when you do like, uh, you have a dynamic array of ints, and then you do foo slice of ints equals dyn slice, it just makes one of these with the same data pointer and length value. And then it just kind of drops this on the floor. But most of the time, this is on the stack, so it's not really a problem. What would be the best way to copy the dynamic array to a new slice and clean up the old dynamic array? Um, that you could do like uh, foo. You'd have to make one with the length of the dynamic array, and then you could do copy foo, I think something like, no, copy foo, dyne, slice, and then like delete dyne. I think, I think that's what you want. But I mean, you would probably wouldn't do this generally maybe there's a case actually i yeah yeah copy is just a a built in thing copy slice takes a slice takes two slices and then returns an int which is the the length the number of things that did get copied over so yeah the slices you pass could be of different lengths so I think it would just copy over like the, the, the lower number of things. If you're limited on memory, then you wouldn't be allocating a bunch of stuff and like copying things over. You would just have like a static buffer and then just use it differently, probably. Yeah, if you, yes, yes. So that's actually like a thing that's worth being careful of is if you did have this, yeah, actually, uh, yeah. If you had a dynamic array with some stuff in it and then foo is dyne this, delete foo. If you did this, then this now points to freed memory. The dynamic array will point to freed memory because it uses the same pointer.
So six R three not R two multiply. Dynamic array and foo is dying. Delete foo. Wouldn't that leave the leftover buffer from the dynamic arrays? Yeah. So yeah, like what I what I was what I said, right? This is what you. Yeah, this is the same thing that you typed, right? You have a dynamic array, and then you take a slice of that dynamic array, and then you delete the slice. That would delete the memory that is backing the dynamic array. So dyna dyne here is now, like, if, if you if you then later did, like, for thing in dynamic array, this would, like, have a bad time. This would not be good. Because you're this points to, this now points to freed memory. And that's, you don't want to do that. Similarly, if you freed dynamic array here and then iterate over, iterate it over foo, this would also be bad, right? They're pointing to the same memory. It doesn't like make a copy behind your back. That's the thing that's great about Odin. There will not be any like, there's no allocations that you don't know about. Delete, wait, no, Tetra, that's not true. That is not true. That would do weird things because like here, the, the address of the zero with element is not the same. These, this will pass. Because now foo points to the first element of of dine here. This would like like you'd be freeing if you did this. You would be freeing a pointer that hasn't been allocated. This is just like some random memory. It would be like uh, if you did that or something like yeah don't do this don't type this into a computer that would delete it all yes because it would point to the to the to the beginning yeah yeah i mean that would probably depend on the operating system or whatever allocator you're using. Cause like if I, in main, if I do like free, uh, whatever's here, cannot transmute a constant, okay. Oh, it did crash. Wow. But I bet that like depends though, like. Maybe, maybe not. No, maybe that's just like bad. Maybe the OS just like actually doesn't accept you passing pointers that you didn't allocate. Oh well, yeah, that would probably depend on the OS itself though. So I wouldn't uh, do that. <laughs> Delete nil. Yeah, I mean, free nil. Oh, it 
it works. <laughs> yeah, you can free nil, dude. No problem. No problem at all. Oh, it does check for it. Yeah, that's true. Yep. It checks. That's fine. Whatever. <laughs> Good call, Tetra. Good call. Uh, I think this is enough levels for now, honestly. I think I'm quite happy with that. Probably got like a bajillion files in to check in. Yeah, 261 unstaged files. Wow. Uh, make sure I don't have anything stupid. I mean, there will be more levels in the in the final game for sure, for sure. But we don't need a PDB checked into our source control. In fact, that should be in Git ignore. Wait, where's? I don't know why these are separated by a new line, but this should not be checked into source control. <laughs> like a whole bunch more levels. Be right back. And then, actually, I don't know what I'm going to do when I get back. We'll see. We'll see.
definitely recommend looking up or uh, looking into how allocators work in Odin. It's neat. It's not super complicated either. You just have a different, if you want to make an allocator, you have a, my allocator with some stuff. Maybe you have a bunch of memory and then you have a proc that takes, uh, it does take a bunch of parameters, but you just copy paste them from another allocator. Uh, and then in here you allocate memory and free memory, whatever. It's, uh, it's a good, it's a good setup. Um, I don't really know what else to do here. I just wanted to make levels. I think I might, might end the stream here. Yeah, I think I will end the stream here. This was successful, for sure. We got a bunch more levels into the game. Uh, and there wasn't any crashes today. The last stream, there was like, like every five minutes, the game was crashing and I had to fix something. Uh, but yeah, today was good. Today was good, there's no crashes. Uh, the game's been like running most of the time as well. So that's, yeah, no, that's good. <laughs> ship it. Yeah, pretty, I mean, hopefully soon-ish, right? This isn't like a huge project. I just want to make it decent and then have it sort of out there as a, um, a test of the engine, for sure. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, you got it. All right. Well, yeah. Uh, thanks for coming around, everybody. Uh, this was fun. I'll uh, I'll try to make a, a point to stream more. I had the last couple times I've had a, I've had a good time, so this is good. And it sort of makes me actually work on things. Uh, I feel like I've been just kind of slacking off a lot, just playing video games and not getting things done. Uh, but yeah, this is cool. Yeah, accountability. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, I'm glad too. You were you were busy before, and that's fine. But yeah, I'm glad you were here. Cool. All right. Goodbye, everybody. Have a good night. See y'all.